What a, what a find! That was gorgeous. By Absolutely Lina beautiful. It would no, just boom, boom, boom with like oh. one second on each move. Alina now up one point as we're down under 18 and a half minutes left. We've just over 18 minutes remaining. Alina up one point. Plenty of time for Eric Rosen. It's just a one game match. And again, just to remind everybody, when, if you're in the middle of a game, and the clock hits zero for the overall match, they finish that game. So it's not that, you know, if they're in the middle of the game, the, the game, the match is not over, they finish that game. So even if Eric is down one point, or if Alina goes down one point, mm -hmm. and there's, say, 12 seconds left, as long as they get to start that game yep. before the match clock is over, there's still a chance. Just right now, like in football, you know, you finish the play. Exactly. And Eric is playing these sort of, it looks kind of like those, uh, in some ways, those Kara Khan lines, where it's an mm -hmm. exchange on D5, but there's a pawn D6 rather than on D5. G5 by Alina, very interesting, very interesting move. Opening up a G6 square for her knight or her bishop. Now, it could backfire because her king side, but her king side is beefed up by all of those pieces. This is about equal. And now knight C4, though, I'm not sure about C6, and I'm not sure about Eric's play. It seems a little bit too passive for bullet. Yeah, that knight F1 move going backwards instead of just attacking D6. So I'm discovering knight H4. I was looking at knight H4 trying to take on F3 with check as an intermezzo. But now queen C2 is a good move. And 97. So, you know, moving backwards. Just a bit of a cat and mouse game. They're kind of testing the waters. I would try to bank on getting my knight to f5 here if I were Eric. Maybe Bishop takes g6. Maybe Alina will take with a pawn, though, and then yes. threaten rook takes f3. And if you get the f file over, the knight comes into f4. It seems like you're picking up momentum. f5, g4, an idea. c4 comes in c4. right now. It's timely for Eric kicking that knight back. But here comes that knight. Can you even go into e4 followed by a mm -hmm. d5 push and saying, Hey, what are you doing? I'm the one who has more space. My rooks are on better fives. Look at this rook on D1. The F rook is better here, clearly, because now it supports an eventual G4. Just keep on pushing on that side of the board. The knight of three moves to D2 because the E5 squares under black square. And Danya, I'm loving the way this is taking form for Alina here. Well, to borrow your term, uh, Robert, the bishop on H2 just entombed by those pawns. Very elegant way that Alina's put her knights on F5 and F6. I wouldn't do anything rash here. D5 is tempting, but it allows knight C5. I would just play sensibly and practically 98 okay so she's reinforcing the knight on f5 still great position for black easier to play she's swinging her knight around to e6 attacking that loose pawn b6 covering covering the c5 square maybe alina's preparing d5 after all she is and bishop, look at that. G1. bishop g1 what a sad move f3 there's knight g3 check at the very yeah least. but maybe maybe white should have done that oh. anyway but now eric getting his knight to e5 rook c1. Is... rook c1 watch out for that c6 okay. rook f6 maybe knight e5 after rook f6 uh -huh. So 96 going after D4 in return. I mean, Black has the better bishop, but with so many trades happening, it does exactly. feel like White should be able to get out of this. But look at the time, six seconds. He got his move off, but is D4 still just hanging here? Um, uh, That's what you. Alina's thinking. D4 takes, takes, and Knight C6. Oh, my goodness. What is going on here? Queen, Queen C4. Oh, oh, the beat, no, Knight B3 is My gosh. And Rook D8, Rook D1 is just devastating. Knight D2, Knight F1 there as well. Yeah, but don't count Eric out because he's about to steal the B6 pawn. That is one thing we've noticed in this match. Never count him out. Rook T1, though. Rook B5. Rook B5, there Rook it is. Rook D4. Oh, nice find because I was King about to King H2, even Knight G3. Ooh, Knight G3 is so beautiful. And oh, my gosh, she found Look it. at that. Knight she E2. Got two. Oh, oh, my God. Two mate. What a What game. a find. That was gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. It would no, just boom, boom, boom with like oh. one second on each move. That was unbelievable tactical vision by Alina Castanet. We're going to have to ask her about that, what she's been doing to work on her tactics, because she found it all pretty instantly.